Number four. It is hidden and private. It is hidden and private. Next verse here. Songs of Solomon 1 verse 3. Verse 4. Sorry. Verse 4. He said, he said, draw me. We will run after thee. I know you didn't say that. Draw. Then what's the next word there? Draw what? Oh my. Let's try again. Draw. Can you see that the person that they are drawing is an individual? But how many people will respond because of one drawing? Plenty. So if God can get to draw you, there are so many people that will run after God eventually just because he succeeded in drawing you. Do you know, there's a text message that I've gotten used to over the years and now it comes every week. Somebody that I don't know will just send me a text message. Thank you for saying yes to Jesus. Every week. So if God can draw a man, then he has we. May he succeed in your life in the name of Jesus. Next statement is, the king has brought me into his chambers. That means his bedroom. Because the activities of the chambers are private. They are not open for people to see. If there are some secrets that God will need to take you, take you into the hidden place before he shows you something. How many secret things have you received? The king has brought me into his chamber. It's private. The relationship was designed to disclose things that are not available in the public. Private disclosures. Private disclosures. Hidden things. Uh, are you aware that when the roots of a tree grow, they don't say, I'm growing up. It's private. It's private. It's hidden. Not all forms of growth can be seen. My question to you today is, do you have any secrets that only you and God knows? If you don't have any secret that only you and God knows, your life is not deep. Highest, my preaching time here can be 40 minutes. But this 40 minutes of preaching time that I'm doing here now, I started praying early in the morning. So give or take, give or take, give or take, I've gone seven hours of prayer today to come and talk for how many minutes? 40 minutes. You see, the, the level of my engagement is more than the time I have. You will not know that my standing here resulted from seven hours of prayer. And then you will begin to like standing here. Finally, the relationship is spiritual. Because when he says he's bringing you into his inner chambers, His inner chambers is your spirit. He moves from your body, moves through your soul, and then he takes you into your spirit where he does his disclosures. It's a spiritual kind of relationship. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. There is an encounter I had with God at the age of 13 it was that encounter that ensured that i married as a virgin spiritual you can have an encounter today that will guarantee that you will not be poor spiritual 
I had an encounter a few years, few days ago, like how many days now? Two days ago. That's on Friday, Friday, that we started this meeting. After the meeting, we went home and began to pray. And the Lord came and told me that when you become 50 years old, I'm going to reset your, your body. If you need a new kidney, I'll give you a new one at the age of 50. So that you will have time to live long enough to fulfill what I've called you to do. An encounter. It's at the age of 50 that he will reset this body. You can have an encounter that can extend your, your life on it. <laughs> I'm not talking about things that money can buy. I'm talking about spiritual things. How many of you know I've, I've not closed this eye since I was born? This one. Because I was born with facial palsy. The reason why I'm not using glasses today is because of something that God said. If wind blows now it will enter dust enter everything enter but the eye is good the way it was when i was a child that's how this eye still is till now you know what asking for an encounter tonight i was born a stamina it was an encounter that I had with him that my tongue was loose. We're going to pray in a moment. And draw me near. Nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. <laughs> Draw me near. In the spiritual. Never bless the Lord. To the precious bleeding. Listen. You might be in this auditorium and you're struggling with lust. One encounter can deal with lust. One. One encounter can do away with all of your fears. Oh, the other day I was telling somebody that Jesus came to me and, and then the person said, Hey, what, what was the color of his clothes? So the person doesn't know a spiritual encounter. He doesn't understand it. Oh, you will have an encounter. You will have an encounter. The relationship is first of all personal. Then it is affectionate. It was designed to be private. And it is ultimately spiritual. 